Hello students, today we will go through different effects in compressed tablet. There are many defects in compressed tablet which may occur. The first in that is capping. The definition of this is very simple, partial or complete separation of the top or bottom crown of the tablet is called as capping. So here only upper top or lower top of the tablet will get removed either partially or completely. Next to that is lamination. As the name suggests here, tablet will be separated in different layers. There will be lamination in the tablet. Next to that is cracking. As the name suggests here, there will be cracks. Cracks on the upper or lower central surface of the tablet or rarely on the side wall. So it may occur on the central portion or on the side wall. Next to that is chipping. Chipping is nothing but breaking of the tablet edges. Next is sticking or binding. As the name suggests here, there will be sticking or binding of the granules or tablet part to the die. So it occurs cause of adhesion of the granules or tablet to the die wall. Next to that is picking. Picking is removal of the material from the surface of tablet and its adherence to the surface of punches. So sticking occurs cause of dies and picking occurs cause of punches. So there, here the difference between sticking and picking should be remembered. Sticking is adhesion of the granules or tablet to the dies and picking is removal of the material of the tablet because of punches. Next to that is mottling. Unequal distribution of the color on the surface of the tablet with light or dark areas on the surface is called as mottling. Double impression due to free rotation of the punches having engraving this problem can occur. So mainly if the punches is having engraving then two times the letter will be embossed on the surface of tablet and that will be called as double impression. Now we will go through capping, lamination, cracking and chipping in details. So capping is upper or lower segment of the tablet separate horizontally either partially or completely from the main body and comes off as cap during the ejection from the tablet or during the subsequent handling. So as the definition suggests here the upper or lower cap of the tablet will be separated completely or partially and this defect can occur during ejection that means immediately after the compression or during the subsequent handling that means during the packaging during the evaluation test or during even use this this defect can occur next to that is lamination separation of the tablet into two or more distinct horizontal layer is called as lamination so as the diagram shows there will be formation of different horizontal layers in the tablet. Next to that is chipping. This is the simple definition that it is the breaking of tablet edges. So edges of the tablet will get broken and that defect is then called as chipping. Next to that is cracking. As the name suggests here the cracks will occur and where those cracks will occur either on the upper or lower central portion of the tablet or sometimes on the side wall. Thus we have seen cracking, chipping, capping and lamination in detail. The reason behind them are same. So here the important is the reason and the remedy is now for all these four types of problem. The first reason is high compression pressure. This is the first reason. So due to high compression pressure and subsequent expansion of the tablet on ejection of the tablet, this defect can occur. So when the tablet comes out of the die and if it will be having too much pressure, that means the hardness will be too much high, there will be too much pressure inside the tablet. So when the tablet will come out of the die, what will happen? There will be sudden expansion, sudden release of the pressure and due to that sudden release of the pressure, the upper portion of the tablet will come out of the tablet. The crown will get separated either completely or partially. 
so this is called as capping or this is one of the reason behind capping chipping or cracking next is worn dies or punches so next defect is worn dies or punches suppose if the tablet die is worn what will happen there will be ring formation inside the die okay there will be ring formation inside the die and then the diameter in that ring portion will be more in comparison with the other portion in the die so when the tablet will be compressed inside the die the portion compressed in the ring will have larger diameter and the another portion of the tablet will have smaller diameter when the tablet will be ejected obviously then there will be that ring formation one ring will already be formed the one layer will already be formed in the tablet so the tablet will come out with one ring and there are huge chances then of the separation of the tablet portion from that layer so this is one of the reason and second one is punches if the punches are worn what will happen especially if they are concave in shape the edges of the tablet will turn inside sorry the edges of the punches will turn inside and if the edges of the punches will turn inside naturally then the upper or lower portion of the tablet can be fixed inside that turned edges and then that will be separated from the main body of the tablet okay so we have seen the two main reasons behind capping lamination chipping or cracking type of problem the first one is high compression pressure and the second one is worn dies and punches so in case of high compression pressure what will be the remedy obviously you will have to slow down the speed of the tablet compression machine and you will have to reduce down the tablet compression pressure so hardness you will have to reduce down and the speed also you will have to slow down so this is the remedy for the first kind of reason and second you will obviously have to change the dies and punches next to that is incorrect machine setting so now incorrect machine setting can also be responsible for these four problems and the first kind of incorrect setting is misset scrapping blade so if the scrapping blade will remain at some height during the rotation of the tablet compression machine what will happen the tablet will go inside that scrapping blade and the upper portion of the tablet will get cut will be removed by the sharp edges of that scrapping blade the second incorrect setting is of the lower punch if the lower punch will not come on the surface of die during ejection what will happen it will remain some portion of the lower punch will remain inside the die and then the tablet will not come on the surface of the die some of the portion of the tablet will remain inside the die and during ejection that portion will remain inside the die and remaining portion will be separated and come out of the tablet press this can also be reason behind capping chipping lamination or cracking so here in case of incorrect setting you can change the setting entirely you will have to bring down the scrapping blade or you will have to bring up the lower punch next reason behind capping and lamination is the dry or very low moisture content so during the compression if the granules will not have sufficient moisture if those granules will be dry in nature then there will not be sufficient strength in the tablet form and if there will not be sufficient strength in the tablet form then there are chances of capping lamination cracking or chipping so you can increase the moisture content of the tablet or you can add the hygroscopic substances such as sorbitol methyl cellulose pg4000 etc inside the tablet formulation the last reason behind capping lamination chipping or cracking is insufficient amount of binder or improper binder so if there will be insufficient amount of binder obviously then the strength of the tablet will not be good the hardness of the tablet will not be good and then there will be 
cracking chipping lamination or cracking so you can increase the amount of binder here or add the dry binder such as pre gelatinized starch gum acacia powder sorbitol pvp hydrophilic silica or powdered sugar so these are all the reasons behind the capping lamination cracking or chipping and we have also seen the remedies for the same thank you